Hello, today we're going to be putting together a green forest twin size bed frame. Overall, this took me about a half hour to assemble and is very nicely packed inside the box. As you can see, there are many parts, but all go together relatively simple. This is what the footboard is going to look like when it's all assembled. This is what the headboard is going to look like when it's all assembled. It has four parts. The sides of the bed frame both have a A sticker and a B sticker. And for each side, the stickers will be facing the center of the frame with a cross support connecting the two pieces together. There's an L bracket that will go inside each frame. Here you can see the L bracket in the middle with two bolts holding it together. A closer angle of what it's actually going to look like. This is what it's going to look like when it's all assembled before the bolts. And this is with the leg attached for the center support. Here are the four bolts along with the center beam. And here's everything assembled with all four bolts. No leg attachment. My supervisor here checking in on me. Yes, yes, I'm still doing a good job. Don't worry. Okay, have a good day. Right now I'm just putting everything together with the provided Allen key. This honestly is what took the longest just because there's several, several bolts on this bed and one Allen key is just not enough. All right, I got the drill. I couldn't take it anymore. This is just gonna make life a lot easier with snugging everything up. I'm going to attach the center beam first. So I'm basically building the center of the bed and then I'm going to attach the headboard and footboard to the center of the bed. So I've got the center put together. It looks like a giant letter I or letter H. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the footboard together. I have the decorative part and then two side frames or two side leg supports. Requires three bolts, two to hold the top part on and one to hold it to the rest of the bed frame. I call it a hammer bolt because it looks like a little hammer. Taking some pictures for you guys so you can see what I see. And I'm going to go ahead and put all this together, the bolt and then the curve washer. Now we're going to do the footboard and it also requires a hammer bolt but three extra screws because the headboard has an extra support frame. I'm just using the drill here to get everything tightened up nice and quick. And now we have a headboard and a footboard along with a center frame. So I'm going to actually start putting the hammer bolts in with the bigger part of the bolt, which I call the hammer head, into the frame of the bed, the center part. Just like this. Don't know why the camera couldn't focus on it though. As you can see, I put the flat part of the bolt facing outwards so it looks more decorative when you see the bed frame by itself. By assembling the center, it made it a lot easier to put the headboard and the footboard on because I was only dealing with one part at a time. Just use the drill here to snug everything up. Now I'm going to go ahead and get all the little bolts together for the center. This requires two bolts on the top going straight down. Now you could probably put the nuts facing up but I figured it looked more aesthetically pleasing to have the heads of the bolts up on the top. Now the center support is critical because it helps keep the frame from sagging in the middle. You don't want to leave these out. 
Otherwise you might end up with a V-shaped bed and the headboard and footboard come leaning in towards you. As you can see, the bolt goes through the top. There's a small hex nut that goes on the bottom and you can use the tools provided to snug everything up. When everything's together, it'll look just like this. Now that we have all that together, let's go ahead and put the slats in for the actual bed frame itself. These just pop into place. There's little plastic bushings all the way down both sides of the frame. Just push them in, they snap right in. And there you have it. Here's the headboard side all the way across the middle and the footboard side all the way across the middle. This fits a twin bed without a box spring and it looks pretty good. Thanks for watching.